I've got 20 of my favorite EDC items under $100 that I've scoured from across the internet. Maybe you're looking to upgrade your own EDC, or maybe you're looking for a stocking filler or some gift for somebody this holiday season. In this video, I'm gonna go through my top favorite new things that I've got this year. I'm also gonna update the links in the description below to the cheapest way you can buy these, whether it's on Amazon or direct from the sellers, to make sure you're getting the best deals on these items. 20 items is a lot to try and get through in such a short time, so let's get started. How's it going, folks? My name's Marcus, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here on this channel, I love to talk about technology, EDC, and anything that can help me live a happier, balanced, more productive life. Now, before I get started, none of these items are sponsored. I've not been paid for this video in any way. Some of these things have been sent to me by for free by these brands because I do get a lot of stuff just in the mail for me to try out, but I've not been biased in any way in these things. These are my true, genuine top picks of things that I've got that I like this year. So let's get started by looking at knives. So the top blade that I picked up that was new to me this year is from James Brand. This is the Redstone, and I've only had this for a couple of weeks. I like it for lots of reasons. It's got a partial serrated, partial normal blade on it. It's really quirky in terms of colors. It comes in turquoise and pink. It's got a deep carry pocket clip, which is one of the things I love from my knives. The James brand is known for high quality. It's lovely to open, clicks, flicks beautifully, and closes just as easily as well. Nice and loose, straight out of the box. Comes with a small lanyard on it, which I'll probably upgrade, but a really, really quality knife. So if you're looking for a knife for someone who's into knives, I bet they don't have this one. It's nice and quirky, it's friendly. It's the kind of knife you can bring with you in terms of it's not super intimidating. The colors make it much more friendly for pulling out it places where people are typically afraid of you pulling out a knife to cut string or open a box. And I just think in terms of blade size, nice, small, pocketable knife, very safe to buy for someone as a gift. If you're not happy about buying them an actual knife with an actual blade though, James Brand have something else as well, which is called the Palmer. P-A-L-M-E-R, meaning it fits in the palm of your hand. It's machined aluminum or aluminum if you're from my part of the world, and it just takes box cutter blades in it. So super easy to open up. It's got a couple of uh, screws that you open and then pop it out, change the blades whenever you need. Really nice quality, feels great in the hand, little blade, not very expensive. Again, less than $100, I think it's about $60. I'll have a link in the description below. But really nice quality knife with a small blade on it if you don't want to get someone a, a larger blade. Going even smaller again if you're looking for one that's got a real reputation and people love within the community it's the Victorinox Rambler. The Victorinox Rambler is a 58 millimeter keyring blade and it is one of the most popular um, pocket knives in the world because of the capabilities that it has. So in terms of bang for buck, it's less than $30. It's got several tools on it, including a flathead, Phillips screwdriver, wire strippers, bottle opener, a nail file, a small scissors, which is fantastic for cutting nails, a really sharp blade, a toothpick, and a tweezers. So to have all of those capabilities on such a small, pocket knife. You can see why this is one of the most po popular little pocket knives in the world. And you can't go wrong, even if somebody has one of these already, if you buy it for them, they'll have another use case for it. They'll stick it in their truck, stick it in the car or somewhere like that. Great little stocking filler for somebody as a gift. Moving on from knives, let's talk about pens. And my top pick for pen this year goes to Refine. This is the Refine EP1. It's machined titanium. It's been sandblasted. It's really, really nice. It's kind of a dull finish to it. And it's got this lovely copper insert in it. It's a bolt action pen. It clicks beautifully, but more importantly, it writes beautifully as well. It's the short version, fits in the hand beautifully, so no compromise in terms of writing. And it fits in your pocket, it's nice and short, and is really something that you can everyday carry. I think over time it'll patina beautifully, so it only gets better as the copper breaks in and as the titanium uh, gets more rustic or gets some scratches and damage towards it. And I really love it. I actually use it as a desk pen because I additionally got the desktop fidget, which is a copper ring that spins that you can, when you're on Zoom calls, I find myself doing this all the time, but the pen just plonks into it. So I always have it with me when I want to take some notes real quick. So you have the choice of getting the desktop part and the pen or just the pen on its own. But either way, getting these as a gift would be fantastic. Certainly something that I'd love to get as a gift. And if somebody doesn't have one of these, you really can't go wrong with it. If you don't want to spend that much money though on, on a pen, but you do know somebody who loves pens, my second choice for EDC is is this Olight O-Pen Mini. It's a tiny little pen. Again, it's bolt action, just like the, the Refine EP1, but it's much, much smaller in the hand. It's just about manageable in terms of it not it just meeting the crux of your hand here so that it's not you're not doing something silly or unusual when you're trying to write with it. It's got lots of things. It writes beautifully. 
It's got this machined aluminium or aluminum on it. It's got a magnetized head so that you can stick it to things if you need to do that. And it's got a deep carry pocket clip on it. It's not very expensive. It's less than $15. So a lovely little stocking filler for someone if they're into these kinds of things. And my last pen of choice is this, this is brand new to me, and it's a Koiko Sport. I recently did a video on finding the ultimate writing instrument, and somebody commented I should try one of these. I bought it, they're super cheap, and it writes beautifully. I've gone for the fine version, and I really wish I'd known about this before I created this video, because what a nice little fountain pen for the money, feels classy, fits in the pocket, you can get little pocket clips for it as well. I chose not to put one on this one. And the cartridges are super cheap. It's like $5 for, for six cartridges. So a really cheap writer, but a great little fountain pen and a nice thing to give to someone who enjoys writing. So we've got a lot to get through in the time. So let's move on. Let's talk about flashlights. But let's go through my top pick first. And this is this from Olight. I'm a huge fan of Olight as a brand. And they've just brought out this, the Batten 4, which is a nice, small, pocketable flashlight. The Batten 4, this one that I've got here, comes with a charging case also, which really, you know, multiplies the power of this flashlight. So first of all, it has several modes just as a flashlight itself. It's very tiny, and as the Batten 4 name would insinuate, this is the Batten 4. There was a 3, 2, and a Batten before that. So this is the fourth iteration. When you click the flashlight once, you get onto this kind of moonlight version. It's not really great for anything, but you know, if you were in pitch black and you were trying to navigate your way around, have, want to have the light on for a long time, that would be a good option. But there are several levels of brightness. So if I turn this on, that's the first lumen mode. And then if I hold it on, it'll go through the different levels and it gets very bright. So I often get asked by people, why do you carry a flashlight when you have a small light on your phone? And this is the difference with that. For something this small that just clips into the edge of your pocket, to be able to get over a thousand lumens, I think this is 1300 lumens of power output um, from such a small thing, really does like open up, brightens up an entire room. You can see absolutely everything with this and it makes a big difference. This one comes with the charging case and you can get both of these right now for less than $100. The thing about the charging case is it does several things. Not only will it charge your flashlight, it will charge it several times. It's got a little indicator light on it in terms of how much uh, uh, power is left on the light. Actually, that turns out to be a button. So you can use that to control the flashlight if you want. You can turn it on and off. And same thing if I hold it, it can get the different levels of power from it. So you can have it in its battery bank while it's charging, which I like. It also has a USB-C as part of it. So that USB-C means you can plug in a cable and charge other devices as well. So this Olight flashlight charger actually becomes your power bank so you could charge your phone, charge other flashlights, things like that. It's really quality. It reminds me somewhat of a Zippo lighter, the way that you can pop it up uh, and turn your light on and close it back down again. They've definitely borrowed from that, but a really, really great little uh, stocking filler and something that I highly recommend. After that though, let's stay within the Olight range. Another thing Olight sent me is this O-Clip. So the O-Clip comes, it's got a USB-C charger on the side of it, and it's a little tiny LED. But what's fantastic about it is it's got a clip on the back, hence the name O-Clip. Now what I like is if you're going out, if you have this in your pocket, you can stick it up here, have it on your chest, have it on your baseball cap, and it will light the way in front of you. Maybe you're walking at nighttime and you want people to be able to see you in front of you and it is really, really bright. You can change the levels of brightness with it by holding it down if you just want to have very low levels, just so that you can be seen like that. But if you want to also, by double clicking, you can change the color and have it to red. So if you were to find yourself out walking at nighttime, you were worried about people not seeing you from behind, supposing you're cycling home. Having something like this so small, um, but giving out such power, uh, such a powerful little light on it, really invaluable. So a great little light for someone who runs or cycles or finds himself out in the dark. This might be the very thing that saves you if you're out in the dark, you're trying to get home, you're walking on a dark street, stick this on your back, have the red light on, you'll be noticed and might get you home safer. After that though, is the Bow Route. And you've probably seen this, if you're into the EDC, community. This has been a hot little light for the last year. So just by pressing the button, you can turn it on. It's got double beam. You can change the different light levels, same as I, I did with the Olight, but you can do other things as well. Like you can turn on the light on the body of this, which means that you can use it as a light. You can hang it. There's a little hook on it. You could hang it on the ceiling uh, and it can just light up all the space around you if you're camping. It's got a bunch of other things too. So it's got a magnet on one end. So if you did want to stick it onto a piece of metal, you can use it to shine the light directly on it. And finally, the shell of the case itself is luminescent. So if you do use the light, if you do use this mode that charges everything, after a while it charges that case up and in the dark that will glow as well. Helps you find the flashlight if it's turned off. Just a powerful, really funky, cool little flashlight to bring with you camping and fun to play with, really easy to stick in a stocking.
great little flashlight we recommend. Olight sent me this, it's the Arkfeld UV. The thing I like about it is it's got a flashlight on the front, which is typical. I love the form factor of it, machined aluminium, a deep carry pocket clip, and just fits beautifully into your pocket. Has the proprietary Olight charger, not a big fan of that, wish it was USB-C honestly, but a magnet, magnetic little puck charger that sticks on the end of it that Olight does on, on most of its range of flashlights. This one actually has a black light. It's got a UV light. I've taken this with me to hotels. I've taken it with me places. I kind of wished I hadn't honestly, because some of the things you find are, you just don't want to know about it. But the, this flashlight is fantastic. It's got a really great battery. It's got a battery indicator on it. Form factor is hefty. Really nice quality piece of equipment for hundred less than $100 great little product. And the final flash that I want to talk about is the Rovivan Aurora A2, a really small, the smallest flashlight of this range that I showed you. Great things. Deep carry pocket clip, machine steel, high quality feel to it. A recessed button that won't turn on accidentally in your pocket. It's got a, if you want to clip it onto your keychain, you can do that. You can also take the pocket clip off. So it's an optional pocket clip. Turning it on, it's got various settings. So there you go, you've got a really, really low setting, but you can also, I'll try not to blind you, really, really high setting as well. So for a tiny little pocket light like that, that sits in your pocket or is on the end of your keychain, you're getting really, really high power from it. Which brings me on to wallets. Now there's two wallets I want to recommend here. The first you might have seen on this channel before, it's a bifold from Exter. Exter makes absolutely fantastic little wallets. They make a lot of those um, push-up wallets that you press the bottom and they push the cards out. I'm not a fan of those. I, I like to have a minimalist. I want a really thin wallet, as thin as I can in my pocket. And the reason I like this one is you can do just that because it's got this, the, this wallet comes apart. What I like to do is I like to put my cards and my money in this um, front pocket extra part and I keep that with me all the time. So it's got my typical everyday things and it. it's got my ID, my credit card, things like that. But if I do want to bring extra stuff with me and I'm going to an event or I, 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 there's a, an occasion for me to put a bifold in my back pocket, I'll stick this in my back pocket as well. It gives me the option to have this in my back pocket and my more valuable stuff that I don't want to be pickpocketed in this pocket and I can put my cash in here, things like that. But if I do decide to put them together, there's magnets in this. That means it keeps it in and it actually puts that together and I can have them all in my back pocket. So a really versatile little wallet, really nice leather, feels great, ages beautifully. I actually gave one of these to my dad for Christmas last year. That's how much I love this. And uh, if, you've, if you've got someone who needs a new wallet, I definitely consider this. You can't really go wrong with Exeter. I'll have a link below. After that though, I have the Rovivan wallet. Now this is a, I'll be honest, it's a cheaper feeling wallet. It feels like it's kind of made from uh, partially from plastic and it's got this faux leather. But one of the reasons that I like it is that it comes with these little multi-tools in it. So if you've got someone who likes gadgets, or really is always looking for, you know, integrating their multi-tools into their wallet. Maybe there's someone who carries a pen with them in their wallet. This is a good front pocket version. You can fit several cards in the back, so an ID or a credit card. There's room here to put your money in and room on the front as well to put some more cards in as well. But it also comes with these little multi-tools with it. So it's got a pry bar, it's got a small screwdriver, um, it's got a bottle opener and it's got some hex openers. It also comes with this I, I, it's either a toothpick or a SIM card opener, but it's got this spike in the front of it as well that fits nicely in your pocket. And I think for somebody who's looking for something that, that is kind of eye-catching, I've not seen something like this before. I really liked it. So when I got it from Rovi1, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I definitely consider it as a, a stocking stuffer. Okay, we're getting there. In terms of keychains, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I love organizing my keychains. In fact, I've got an entire video here with 250,000 people who've watched how I organize my keychain. Now, in my view, the best carabiner for your keys on the market today is created by Orbit Key. They've got this, it comes in black and silver. It clips to your pockets to keep your keys on. But when you want to take your keys off, you don't have to open the carabiner. It's got this magnetic pull that you can pull your keys off in a certain angle, off and up, and you can take your keys with you. And then when you want to put them back on, they just clip on seamlessly, and it's really, really tight. Honestly, it's super tight. You have to pull it in that specific action, comes off super easily. When you stick it on, it sticks on beautifully. I use it all the time. Really really classic and I think this is the best thing on the market right now. But if you're looking for something premium and more classy, Orbiki also make these key sheaths which I like. This is the Boba Fett version. They make, they've done a collaboration with Star Wars. You can get Obi-Wan, Darth Vader, you can get Millennium Falcons, things like that. I've got a bunch of them. So what you do is you just open up this screw, stick your keys in, tighten it back down again, and then you've got a really classy way of keeping your keys together. Stop some jingling in your pocket. 
I like to use this one when I'm going to events. I've got a, a kind of a brown leather one I use all the time actually. When I'm wearing a suit or if I'm wearing a tuxedo, makes you feel classy, you still have your keys in your pocket. Kind of gives you that James Bond suave feel instead of having your keys hanging off your belt. You've got something sophisticated in your pocket, very classy, but able to carry lots and lots of keys with you. Uh, so we'd recommend that. Okay, we're getting into the home stretch. Let's talk about the last three categories. The first one is notebooks. Now I love these Tomio River notebooks. This is my number one pick for notebooks. This is the A7. I use the five millimeter grid and it's fantastic. I use this for my pocket notes. So this is my idea book that I've been carrying with me. Um, anytime I have an idea, I jot it down in this notebook. I'm always carrying a pen, always carrying this notebook with me. And I prefer to take notes down in this than I do my phone. I know a bunch of people are say, when you just take your phone out and take notes in it, there's something more meaningful about keeping my ideas in this. I use it for YouTube ideas, things that come up with work, or just generally if I wanna get something out of my mind and onto paper so it's not spinning around in my head, I use this notebook for that, strongly recommend. The reason I like it so much is it's got this really thin 58 millimeter paper. There's a whole community around these. It's a Japanese style paper. And honestly, it's probably more expensive than you should pay for a notebook of this size. It's about 10 or $12. I love them and I'm never gonna be without them. But my runner up in this category is from OrbitKey. OrbitKey makes this uh, notebook and you can get it. It's a dot matrix. And the reason I like it is because it's it's got a, I'll flip to a page so you can't see any of my own writing. It's got a, it's got bullet points. It's got a task list on it so you can check things off as you go through them. It's got really nice paper. It's a thicker paper than I usually use, but some people prefer thicker paper. It's more like the paper you get with the Field Notes notebooks. Um, I think, you know, I'm a big fan of Field Notes as well, but just in terms of comparisons for size, they've, it's a really pocketable notebook. They've, they've tried to make it, it fits perfectly in your back pocket or your front pocket. Nice size, nice form factor. Good job, Orbit Key. Five bucks, definitely worth a go. Second last section, a favorite brand of mine is Yeti. Yeti, I use this, carry this with me all the time. I put my coffee in it in the morning. In fact, there's coffee in it right now. I should have cleaned it out before I used it, before I created this video. But, but yes, Yet, Yeti coffee or hot goods uh, holder. It's got a screw on lid. You've got a top lid that unscrews like that so you can drink from it or close it up. Really classy, nice size, fits in a bag. I went for this, you know, vibrant yellow, really stands out uh, and not crazy expensive. So, so premium product, anyone you give it to will be happy with it. So go for that. Now, the last thing that I'm recommending is this Patagonia fanny pack or bum bag if you're from where I'm from. So I've got actually a bunch of these. I've, I've bought various of these over time. I've had this one for several years. It's held up really well. I actually bought this one earlier this year. I've had it for about six months. And I use that for everyday dadding. So if I'm going out with the kids and I want to have some band-aids, I want to have a flashlight, a pocket knife, things like that, but I don't want to be absolutely loaded down, I'll just stick this on my waist. Yep, I do wear it around my waist. I wear it to the side because I feel like that might be slightly cooler than having it on the front or on the back. But you can also wear it as a sling bag over your shoulder. I've definitely done that in the past before. Really small, really handy, has everything you need in it. So if you're going out with sunscreen, pocket knives, you've got, you know, you're trying to solve for 20 things at once, you can get pretty loaded down in your pockets with that. So I just have one of these. This one I keep packed by the door um, so that I can just grab it when I'm going out. I don't, I don't have to decide if I'm going to be bringing it with me or not. I'll always have the things I need in it. Um, and I've got various ones for, for different things. I know, I know it's overkill, I know it's excess, but really great little fanny packs. Providing you're willing to compromise on looking cool, uh, I would go for it. I'm long beyond trying to be cool with this stuff. So uh, great little fanny packs for anybody who is trying to do dadding stuff, trying to carry all these small little things with them all the time. Honestly, you could fit everything I have, these 20 items, besides the cup with you in this fanny pack, you'd have everything with you all the time, you'd always be ready. Anyway, those are the 20 best things that I got this year in 2023. They're all less than $100. Links in the description below. What are some of the things that you loved getting this year? What were some of the stocking fillers or surprise gifts people got for you and you'd recommend for other people? Stick them in the comments below, I'd love to hear about them and maybe they'll appear in a future video. Good luck.